Hi, my name is Maria. Hi, I'm Monica. And welcome back to Vixen's Victorious. Yay! So we... And today we are going to talk about the... The team. For next year. <laughs> so I'm going to go through who made the team and I'm going to go through who is not with us anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I was... I think you already know. Doubt. But like, this has been old news for like, you know... But yes, let's it get is. into it. Anyway, so the first signing was obviously Kate Maloney. Of course, the captain. <laughs> she had to. She is very prolific for <laughs> the team. Come on. <laughs> yeah, they had no other choice. <laughs> no. Uh, another one uh, was Drew West. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, then we have Rani Samson. First sign, yeah. which is what I wanted, <laughs> and they gave it to me. <laughs> so we put out our thoughts and we got it. Yeah, yeah, that, that's how life works. <laughs> okay, we're don't, just don't worry about us, we're just a little bit. Of course, we have Emily Mannix. Yes, we re signed Liz Watson. Yes. Oh, Diamond's captain. <laughs> yes. It's really nice to see. We've got Maui Kamwenda. Yeah, I'm going through my list. Let me go through my list. I'm oh, sorry, I'm just looking at I this. know. Then we have Hannah Mami. Yes. Yes. She's yes. a very versatile player. Definitely. She can play either wing attack, wing defense, and center. I feel like after the year she had, she got rookie of the year. And she got named in the development spot for the Diamonds. I feel like you had you have to sign her. Yeah. She's with the same as Maloney, so. Uh, a new signing for the Vixens is Kira Austin. Yes. She's from Giants. Giants. You thought she was from Lightning. <laughs> <laughs> I just had a... <laughs> moment I forgot <laughs> you really did yeah she she has represented Australia too so we've got pretty versatile players yeah no we do we do uh so yeah no it's definitely looking like a strong team mm -hmm. um and then we have Kate Eddie yes Marika Wenda yay and another sign is Liv Lewis from Fever. Yes. Who with her elbow? What? No, I don't know what happened. Could no, I... she... Um, I did watch it. Um, I know she injured her elbow and it has been and she's coming back. Kira Austin? No. Who? The one from Lewis. Yeah, so... When she did her interview... She had a brace oh, on her elbow yeah, yeah, yeah. and she was signing and she was, um, that's why we hadn't seen her much on court. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So she's, it's strengthening up her elbow and she'll be, she claims she'll be, she'll says be. she'll be right there for pre-season. Yeah, that's, that's what she wants. So, uh, sadly... Ali Smith will be leaving. <laughs> she left. <laughs> yes. And so did Kitty Ann Dehaney, but I think it's just because they just want more court time. Yes. And they deserve that, so. Yes. Wish them luck <laughs> in their future netball. In their other, other teams? I don't know what teams they went to actually. I have to look that up. Sorry. Welcome to We Are Very Well Prepared. <laughs> Not. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, Ellie Smith has oh. gone to the Swifts. Yes. Okay. And Katie Ann Dehaney has gone to Sunshine Coast Lightning. Is that where you got Sunshine Coast Lightning from? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, yes. Yeah, so, so. So it's going to be a big, big, 
big, big, big. It's going to be interesting when we play against Swifts and Lightning. Yes. But it's going to be easy playing against your old team. Yes. Okay, but there's a lot going on. Do you want to go through, through it? Through it, yes. We've got Sophie Garbin, who's going from the Swifts to the Magpies. Yep. We've got Maggie Lind, training partner for Magpies, Pies, going into the Magpies. Nice. So you've okay. got Randy Samerson. I'm going to go over to you. <laughs> going from as a training partner to, to an actual Vixens to an act, to being an actual Vixens nice. player. You've got Tegan O'Shaughnessy going from a Swifts training partner to Swifts full time. You got Tari Hidgecliffe from the Queensland Firebirds going to the Gold Coast Lightning. Yeah. You've got Kira Austin going from Giants coming to us, the Vixers. Yeah. <laughs> Tipper Dwan, I think that's how you say her name, yeah. going from the Queensland Firebirds to Adelaide Thunderbirds. Thunderbirds. So she'll still be a bird, yeah. but from a fire to a thunder. <laughs> Sorry. Elle Smith. Smith from the Vixens to the Swifts. Yes. Katie Ann Dehaney. Of Vixens to, to Gold Sun Coast Gold Lightning. Like we said before. Yeah. Um, as you said, it Olivia would have been Lewis. due to... Um, Just wanting more court time. I mean, she deserves more court time. She does need in order to develop herself further. We've got Olivia Lewis coming from... Worst case for, fever to us. To like us. Like we've just said. Yes. And coming out of an injury as well. Yep. Just Not easy. No. We've got Ruby Bakewell Doran. The training partner of the Firebirds becoming an, an actual, actual Firebird. There's no our team. <laughs> Sorry, which we just like this. We just like people succeeding. Okay, Mia Stoa. Yes. From a training partner of the Firebirds to, to an, an actual, actual Firebird. Firebird. We've got Kelly Singleton going from a Swifts training partner into being a fully fledged Swift. And then you've got Lauren Moore, who's going from the Swifts to the Giants. Yes. And then you've got Riley Batchel Dor. I can't even. I think that's how you say it. Yeah. yeah. From being a training partner of the Firebirds, going to Sunshine Coast Lightning as a proper position. Okay. So, uh, sorry, so like one of the players from Firebirds is Rudy Alice. Uh, she is not playing for them anymore, but I don't know what's happening. I think she, there's one of them that I know somebody's retired. Yeah, no, but she's like in her 20s. So. Well, I don't know. Anyway, we'll see. But, her, well, the players for us for next year. Yes. I have a really good feeling that the team will do really well. Yeah. Because they have... Looks they're like attacking. Team. It looks like a solid team. We've now got people that are solid attackers. Yes. And we have... <laughs> those two in, in defence. Yeah. But there's another one. Does defense too. Katie? That would be Olivia. Yeah, she hasn't come in yet. They haven't put her up yet. On they the, haven't on put the her side. on the bus yet. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So, all good signs for 2022. Yes, and hopefully, sometimes we I will forget turn. it's not 20. Sometimes I forget it's still not 2020. But we will, we won't be the wooden spooners. Definitely not, no. She is, uh, she's the other goalkeeper. She's the other defender in goals. 
Yeah. So she could play both goalkeeper and goal attack. I mean, goalkeeper and goal defence. Goal defence and goal attack are vastly different positions. <laughs> I should know because I played them in one game. <laughs> Move from one end of the court to the other end of the court, and it confused the living hell out of me. No, it, it would, wouldn't it? But yes. So therefore, we've got a full strength team again. Yeah. To. We've done our searching. Now bring on next year. And I'm sure. Yep. Our lovely coach will have everybody in their right positions. Yes. And just <laughs> go for it. I really do think that she was just trying to just try to fill the void of attack that we were missing. But I feel like it's really hard when you don't really have that experience. No, it is. And look, we're not gonna take it as a loss. We'll take it as a learning curve. I mean, you have to. I mean, it's you're not going to get, like, um, experience in a year. No. You need... It's going to take time. That's the, that's the frustrating part, but that's how sport works. That's how team sports work. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, but we can do it next year. I, mean, I feel pretty... With the players that we've got. Could definitely go for top four. Oh, hell yeah. Give them hell. <laughs> Give them hell and have me yelling on the sidelines <laughs> and losing my voice when I'm supposed to be a singer and not do that. Uh, yeah. Anyway, that'll be it for us for this week. Yeah, that's for this week. We'll come with something next week. I know what we're doing next week, but we'll do something. It'll be watch this space. It'll, we don't know what we're... Because uh, the uh, England... The that's England, got cancelled. Yes. The it's, Constellation Cup, wasn't it? No, that's between us and New Zealand. New Zealand. Um, no, but the... Didn't that get rescheduled? Yes, but it's been postponed for this year. It's off between yeah. us and... That's a bit frustrating. Um, between us and England. But with the COVID restrictions and all that, I think. It's just taking a toll on everything. You, you don't really know when it's actually going to be played. I feel like you have a better chance of actually going to England. <laughs> That'll be in December. <laughs> hey, we have the Ashes happening. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I was meant to go to Sydney for my birthday. I don't think that's happening. No. no. Okay, anyway. That'll be, that'll be for us for this week anyway. <laughs> Until next time. Bye. Bye.